Hello, welcome to Fun and Affordable Magic the Gathering. I'm Joshua Jones bringing you an unstable edition today. Now, there's two uploads on the channel for The Big Idea, and this one's the more stable version. We're just going to go in our normal order, but we did throw up another video just for fun, going in reverse order to kind of throw it off there a little bit. But for a more traditional overview of this deck, I'll bring it to you the regular way here. So the big idea is four red red for a four four legendary Brainiac villain creature that uh, you could pay a hybrid red black hybrid red black to tap roll a six sided die and create a number of one one red Brainiac creature tokens equal to the result. You can tap three untapped Brainiacs you control, and the next time you would roll a six sided die, instead roll two six sided dice and use the total of those results. So the big idea is just a fun uh, commander to play until at least January 31st and hopefully long after that and pretty affordable price tag ending up only at $20. I try not to include any cards in the deck that were over $1 so it's pretty affordable. You can see here the prices. Now Bloodsworn Stewart says $1.07 but it actually is cheaper than that and then you see here on the right we have our mana curve so a lot of stuff going on in the middle and then not too much on either side of that but this deck's more just for fun and i think you definitely get twenty dollars worth of value out of it so let's break down the, the deck here so the first um uh, we have this visual view for you and you can see here just a nice look at the overall deck list the deck list will be in the description if you just want to go check it out yourself the first category is the rocks, so we want to get some acceleration going on. Hedron Archive does a good job at that by providing two, and then once you don't need it, you can just draw two cards with it. And then Mad Science Fair Project, we have our first dice roll card outside of our commander, of course. You could tap it and roll a six-sided die, and then if you get three or less, you get a colorless. If you get four or five or six, you get uh, uh, any color that you want, so just already starting off the flavor. Pretty simple slide here, just uh, four two mana rocks that accelerate you out. And then here we have four simple three mana rocks that accelerate you out. I am playing Warren Power Stone in the deck because I didn't want to spend a dollar over, like I said, on any card. So if you have slow rings, uh, soul rings, uh, replace this slow ring with the soul ring. Now we'll move on to the card draw spells, or the card advantage spells, more the kind of just gas in the deck. So Faithless Looting doesn't actually get you ahead on cards, but if you're playing in a play group that doesn't do Partial Paris and just straight mulligan rules, Faithless Looting goes up in value, I, I think. And then Damnable Pack, um, not the best card draw spell, but it is affordable. Gets the job done, gets you cards in your hand, and then late game you could actually just kill an opponent with this, why not? Here we have four black red typical card advantage spells where you could just pay life and pay uh, nominal amounts of mana to uh, draw cards and then advances blasting cannons and outpost siege will allow you to uh, you know exile the top like red likes to do and then let you play it until end of turn. Next up we have whoa get out of here X we have cathartic reunion and tormenting voice. Um, and then read the bones and sign in blood, just more uh, filtering through your deck and drawing uh, small amounts of cards, but significant. And then read the bones I like a lot more. I, I don't know why it doesn't see more play. I mean, it only gets you two cards, but you do get a dig two first. So it's a pretty decent investment for three mana. And moving on to the removal suite, we have just some solid um, target removal in conditional board wipe so terminate and license disintegration not a lot of explanation here needed just two and three mana to destroy something here we got some board wipes now these are more on the expensive side and also conditional but um, they do get the job done so chain reactions <clears throat> pretty good because it just you know, if there's 10 creatures out, then that's how much damage it's going to do. And usually that hits about everything. Mizium Order is only going to deal four, but it does deal four to creatures that aren't yours. And that's not a bad rate for five mana. 
and then uh, you can just use it as target removal if you if you need to. So Garrus Wake really expensive, but again keeps your board alive, and then Deadly Tempest as a catch-all. Here we got targeted removal. Uh, we got Ruinous Path with the Awaken ability. You know, sometimes maybe, sometimes not, but also hits Planeswalkers. We got the Modal Spell and Profane Command, giving some good value there. Fireball, also some good options. And then by Force, because um, Vandal Blast was a little bit too expensive. But if you have Vandal Blasts, go ahead and run them. Also, too, instead of Fireball, if you have um, Blasphemous Axe, I would just run that as well. And moving on to the haste, the haste in the hexproof. So we want to give our commander some protection. And we want to give our creature some haste. So two really common haste in hexproof cards here in Swift Foot Boots in Fervor. In the haste cards, we have Blood Sworn Stewart. Pump up our commander a little bit and give him haste. And then Ashling's Prerogative, we're going to want to choose even on this because that's our commander and it's important to know that your um, opponent's creatures that are even will also have haste and then everyone's odd cards will come in tapped um, the tokens that um, our commander makes are even converted mana cost because zero is even and then orc battle driver given a plus two plus oh and haste is always good in red token based decks and here we have the Hexproof and Shroud. So um, I got Glaring Spotlight in here because it just helps you deal with um, cards and play politics that have Hexproof and Voltron, Voltron decks. So um, Mask of Avacyn, I would suggest um, running that. And Cloak and Dagger, I would res suggest running that. Now Whisper Silk Cloak... Um, you could replace with Lightning Grease if you have one laying around. But it's also good. Any one of these are pretty much replaceable with Lightning Greaves, but at 250 I didn't include it in the deck. And now the care the cards that care about dice roll. So Crux Other Thumb is a... There's a card called Crux Thumb that lets you flip an additional coin. It's the same exact card, but this one for die roll. It's pretty f flavorful there, something you would expect from an unstable set. And then increase the result of each die roll by two with scroll powered scheme. So it's important to note that for this, um, when you roll two d6s, you're rolling dice. So each one of those is a die, as you probably know. So if you roll a four and a three, you actually get a six and a five. So it's a really good value for three and also something to keep in mind when you're drafting unstable as well here we have box of free range goblins steel squirrel lobe lobber sneakering squirrel so all cards that either care about die rolls or let you roll die rolls or um, manipulate die rolls also too if you want you could just pay six mana to roll a six-sided die with steel squirrel that's a uh, exactly what you want to do with six mana right hmm hmm in a bit, in a, in a bolt hole, what does that say? That's that's funny. All right, moving on here, we have some more cares about die roll cards in Inhumaniac, Paniac, Hammer Jammer, and Sly Spy. There's six different Sly Spies. This is Echo, so when you're trying to pull it up on TCG Player or something like that, and you go to the deck list from uh, the description, it won't actually pull the card up. You have to put in parentheses at E at the end of the name. Pretty, pretty fun. And moving on to the rest of the cards. We have Impact Tremors and Throne of the God Feral. It just gives you some incremental advantage for having tapped creatures and also when creatures come into the battlefield. So not going to do a tremendous amount of damage, but for a two-mana investment, if you get even three points of damage for each of your opponents out of this one time, well, you know, that's worth it to me. Oh, all right, just give us a second here. Let this turn play out for these guys on this side quest. All right, here we have Young Pyromancer, Goblin Slide, Razakus Right, and Diabolic Tutor. I included these in here because um, one, it's affordable list, but two, because I wanted two more ways to tutor up cards that care about die rolls, um, and then you could just cycle the right away if you if you don't need it anymore and then 
we're only running 10 creatures in the deck, so Young Pyromancer and Goblin Slide are going to have uh, plenty of opportunity to get you their value back in uh, the mana that you spend on them. Here we have Stone Forge, Masterworks, Sword of the Pyrons, and Without Weakness. Just three cards that I added in to help support the big idea. Uh, Sword of the Pyrons takes a while to get going at four mana um, to play and then three mana to equip, but if you have a lot of mana laying around, it's always just great to be able to just pay three mana to untap the big idea and then pay four to tap them again. I mean, it's a lot, but why not? And then we have our lands. We're running 40 lands, 15 mountains, and 10 swamps. And then just uh, 15 non-basics. Um, nothing too big to talk about over there in that department. And that is the big idea. You can find this deck on mtggoldfish.com, 854155. And you can pick it up on TCG Player for about $20.00. I mean, it's just, you know, throw $20 out there and put this whole entire 100 cards together and uh, take it to your playgroup next time you want to play some Commander and, and see what happens. I, I think it's a lot of fun, and I think you're definitely going to get $20 worth of value out of this deck. I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll um, see you next time.